Hi, dear cricket fans. Uh, welcome to Cricket Happenings. Uh, this is your host Ram with your favorite show here. And well, uh, the, I'm I'm going to do a preview of the West Indies Sri Lanka Test Series, which is beginning tomorrow in Gaul. That is the first Test match, first of the three Test Series, which is going to be starting in Gaul tomorrow. Uh, and that would be, uh, as you know, uh, it's uh, it's the first Test match, uh, which is actually uh, beginning at Gaul. Well, as far as uh, Sri Lanka is concerned, well, they are the ones who are really looking as favourites. The reason being that West India and Sri Lanka are coming on uh, uh, a very good performance in Australia. And over and above that, uh, this is their home turf. Uh, they know the conditions well. And besides that, Sri Lanka have a very good record against West Indies at home. West Indies have always struggled whenever they have come to Sri Lanka. So a lot of things going for Sri Lanka. And for Sri Lanka, well, they don't have Lasith Malinga and obviously the ploy is for him to be rested as per Mahila Jayvardhane uh, in one of his, uh, one of the reports has already mentioned that they are really, really preserving Lasith Malinga because they don't want to risk him with any injury uh, because with the World Cup coming. Uh, so that's a very, very wise decision. And then uh, they don't have uh, Muttaya Murlidharan who has said goodbye to Test Cricket, but Suraj Ranidavi, the right arm off spinner, uh, who is uh, showing a lot of promise, uh, you know, uh, it just started. So definitely Suraj Anadavi is a uh, player for the future for Sri Lanka. He showed it against Australia, he showed it against India. And I'm sure he's going to put up a very good performance against West Indies because West Indies always, you know, have a fallibility against spin bowling. As far as uh, Sri Lanka is concerned, uh, they have the openers Taranga Pranavitana and Tilakat Nidilchan. Taranga Pranavitana also has done well against West Indies in the past. Telakane Delshan is in some good form. He, he likes to stroke the ball wonderfully well. And definitely the bowling attack of West Indies is not looking very, very menacing. There's not much of experience in the West Indies lineup. Uh, they don't have uh, the pace bowlers like Jerome Taylor is missing, Fidel Edwards is missing. So uh, it's a very inexperienced team. Uh, even though there are some experienced hands in Chris Gale, Shunara and Chandra Paul, they don't have Ram Narish Sarwan. They have a new captain too uh, by Darren Sammy. So he's the... Um, he will be actually uh, very, uh, he will be very happy that he will be leading the side. So that will be his first test match here. And uh, he will be out there to point, uh, prove a point or two to the selectors that uh, the decision that they have taken to actually uh, make him the captain of the West Indies team uh, is a very good decision. Uh, Kumar Sangakra, the captain of Sri Lanka, one of the very, very intelligent captains in world cricket today, uh, along with uh, Mahindra Singh Dhoni of uh, India and Ricky Ponting. Well, um, Kumar Sangakra, well, he just leads the side, um, he's batting, well, he's always a very, very wonderful player to watch as far as uh, test matches are concerned. He has a, a, a wonderful record in uh, test matches, he's a whole experienced campaigner. We have another experienced captain, Mahela Jayavardhane, in the team, who is a wonderful, again, uh, he's one of, an, uh, I mean, uh, they are all experienced campaigners, they have lot tons of runs under the belt and uh, they are the ones to be really like West Indies would really like love to see Kumar Sangakkara and Mahira Javardhan is back because if they both are there uh, definitely Sri Lanka will go off to a very good total. Angelo Matthews well he's he has already shown um, uh, his prowess as an all-rounder not an all-rounder as a batsman basically but also unfortunately he wouldn't be able to bowl which is very very sad because Angelo Matthews is looked upon as an all-rounder in the Sri Lankan cricket side. Uh, Tilan Samaravira one of the specialists as far as test matches are concerned he has already reeled off a lot of centuries and let me tell you he is the man who will be wearing off the west indies bowlers and test match is something which is absolutely his cup of tea prasanna jayavardhan the wicket keeper uh, another wicket keeper batsman who has always impressed in test matches and he would also be uh, very very uh, happy uh, to take on the west indies and uh, Suresh Ranadev, I've already spoken about right arm spin, is also a handy bat. Rangana Herat, the left arm spinner, uh, would also contribute a lot. And um, uh, the West Indies, basically, there's a lot of variety. They have right arm spin in Suresh Ranadev, they have Rangana Herat. Uh, the left arm spinner has done well and also he's a very good bat. I do remember that he took 85 against India. So Rangana Herat is also a good bat. So there are no rabbits there. And then we have the experienced Dilharda Fernando with the new ball and Chanaka Velagadra. Uh, who also uh, did well against India. So uh, both of them will be sharing the new ball and uh, that will be uh, something will be interesting. But as far as uh, West Indies are concerned, now West Indies, well, Chris Gale uh, uh, would be opening, as you know, what Chris Gale can do to any uh, any bowling attack in the world. 
and Adrian Barat and Toli didn't have a very good domestic season back home in West Indies. But let me tell you, Adrian Barat is one of those exciting finds uh, for West Indies. We saw him against Australia, how he did. He also got a century, if I'm not wrong. And he's a very, very good uh, batsman, let me tell you that. And uh, Chris Gale will open. Shivnara and Chandrapal, one of the rocks of the West Indies, who will actually be holding the innings together. And Chris Gale and Shivnara and Chandrapal are the most experienced hands in the West Indies cricket team. Uh, Brendan Nash is the vice captain of the team and he always leads by example. Uh, he's, he has a very good test record in the short uh, test matches. That, I mean, whatever short test career that he has, has he has always done well as far as um, batting is concerned. Brendan Nash can also bowl a bit. Uh, Dwayne Bravo, well, Dwayne Bravo is um, another uh, very, very useful person in the batting or another experienced hand for West Indies uh, who would be playing a great uh, role in the middle order and also his bowling would be absolutely good because, uh, well, he, he's a total all-rounder. His fielding would be a great asset. And his brother, Darren Bravo, who actually uh, is almost a replica of uh, the great batsman, the former great batsman, Brian Lara. Uh, and Darren Bravo strokes, uh, we have seen him, what he can do. And he gets a good opportunity here in this test series. Where he would like to really prove something here. And he's also a good fielder. Darren Sammy, the captain himself, is an all-rounder. Uh, he would be uh, batting and bowling, so both both the departments would be contributing. And also, he's a very, very good fielder. And uh, Dan Sami is a very, very economical bowler, but the test matches are, again, different. Uh, Carlton Bog is the uh, wicketkeeper batsman who who would be uh, donning the gloves there for West Indies. And the bowling attack, according to me, is looking a bit bleak there as far as the pace attack is concerned. Kemar Roche is the spe pace spearhead there, so the full burden is going to be on Kemar Roche. He's, he's not very experienced, but... Uh, he has uh, really given a tough time to Ricky Ponting of Australia, one remembers. He likes to hit the deck and Kemar Roche would be the person to watch uh, as far as uh, West Indies are concerned because I'm sure this is a very good opportunity for Kemar Roche to, you know, uh, really come up trumps and uh, really prove uh, that, his, um, that uh, he, he can be the pace period for West Indies in the absence of Fiddle Edwards and Jerome Taylor. And Nelon Pascal, who has done well in the domestic season in West Indies, uh, gets a place here um, and he will be uh, raring to go against uh, Sri Lanka so for him also uh, it's uh, it's his uh, first uh, series that he is getting after quite a long time and Suleiman Ben now Suleiman Ben is a very good spinner let me tell you he's a very good left arm spinner and let me tell you um, he is the one uh, who would be a very difficult uh, I know Sri Lanka has a lot of experience there but Suleiman Ben is a much better bowler than you think he can really 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 turn the ball and with his height if at all there is bounce he, it, that can really really help him and besides uh, he can also bang a few as far as batting is concerned so uh, he can contribute a few runs to the West Indies lineup there um, uh, one, uh, one would love to see Schillingford uh, Schillingford is a good right arm off spinner he did well um, uh, in the previous series so well whether he's going to play uh, that is left to question uh, Sri Lanka definitely have the edge because uh, everything going for them, they are their full strength. Uh, definitely, uh, this is something that um, it's a rarity for the first time uh, after Muthi Amurli Dharan has retired from Test cricket. Uh, Sri Lanka will be playing their first Test without Muthi Amurli Dharan, one of the greatest uh, uh, bowlers that the world cricket has produced. So, uh, Muthi Amurli Dharan will definitely be watching this match very, very keenly. And I hope uh, he's having a very nice time with his family members and friends. And uh, it would be good to actually sit down and uh, just uh, watch the match for Muthi Amur Lidran. But And we hope uh, we have a great beginning as far as the first test match uh, of the three test series between West Indies and Sri Lanka is concerned. Which starts tomorrow at the Gaul Cricket Ground. That's it dear cricket fans for cricket happenings. This is Ram signing off. Thank you.